All right, man, torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. You know what it is, man. So look, today is going to be a rough ride. It's going to be a rough episode. If you are a liberal, you know what I'm saying? So if you're a liberal, click off this video right now if you want to hear the brutal truth. If you don't want to hear the brutal honesty, click off this video right now. I know I might get some subscribers that get a little mad. Some of y'all might unsubscribe. But this has to be said. At least from my point of view, it has to be said. So... Here's what I understand, and here's why I know whether y'all here for me or they are here just for me to make y'all feel good. This is what it is. So, before I get into it, this is Torture Talk, Legendary Spill. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. If you're new here, let me work for your subscription today. All the beautiful, sexy ladies put one in the chat. All the fellas, y'all know where to find the ones at. Just don't harass them. I don't sell no merch. But I do have content absolutely free. But if you want to leave a donation, if you want to leave a donation, links is on the screen. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. They called me the Hidden Gem. I went from 1,300 subscribers to over 12,000 subscribers. And I will be a million by Monday morning. Hopefully. Let me know where you're from too, man. Look, we're going to get right into it. We're going to get right into it. Ain't no videos today. I'm just going to speak to the liberals and anybody that support the liberals. Not necessarily Democratic Party. More like the progressives and the liberals. I want y'all to understand something. The reason why y'all lost is because y'all too radical. Y'all accept radical behavior. The reason why y'all lost is because y'all too radical and y'all accept radical behavior. Understand, Donald Trump is not perfect. He's not perfect. Donald Trump is far from perfect. But Donald Trump is not okay with your children being mutilated. Donald Trump is not okay with a bunch of illegal immigrants coming in this country. And I want y'all to understand something because I'm about to teach y'all some things, right? Black people, the reason why the Democratic Party is okay with migrants coming into this country, not migrants coming in the right way, we talking about illegal migrants. The reason why they okay with it is because they want to replace you. That's why they okay with it. Where did they put all the migrants at, the illegal migrants? Where did they put them? In the cities. Where do most black people live? In the cities. What do you think that they're doing? Why do you think that they put them there? Why? They can count them in, somehow get them to vote, and replace you. We don't need the black vote. Oh, we're going to talk today. We're going to talk today. We're going to talk today. Because I know a lot of people are going to be upset with this episode. But hey, hey, it has to be said. It has to be said. And this is how I test whether people here for me or just for me to make you feel good. Because I ain't trying to make y'all feel good. I'm trying to tell y'all the truth about what's going on. Another reason why a lot of y'all lost is because y'all think that it's okay for women to kill children. And let me say that again before y'all get upset. I am not saying that a woman should not have the right to choose. I'm not saying that. It's your body, right? You could do whatever you want. 
But you also have to understand that everybody doesn't have to agree with that. So with that being said, you are forced to be more responsible about the decisions you make. Now, we're not talking about great. That's something totally different. And I don't want to get into the statistics on that, but we're not talking about that. We're just speaking on the facts of why, why Kamala Harris lost. When your campaign is running off of fear and making women believe, making women believe that they're going to die and they don't have a choice in life, understand something. There will never be a national abortion ban. Never. It could never be in a, a national abortion ban. Because there's too many branches of government in the way of blocking that. Also, too, for all of y'all that think that Roe v. Wade wasn't a good thing to get overturned, you have to think about it in a different way. For example, the reason why it was a good thing, in my, be in my opinion, is y'all always saying that y'all don't want Donald Trump to be a dictator, right? But if you want to kick it back to the federal government, who runs the federal government? So if Donald Trump, Donald Trump is the president and he runs the federal government and y'all want abortion to be kicked back to the federal government, y'all are automatically supporting a dictator. Correct? This is what you're saying. You don't want a dictator, but you want the federal government to be in control of it. You don't want it to be up to the states. But it's better for it to be up to the states because the states can make decisions. Now, here's the thing. If you live in a mostly Christian conservative state, you already know, you already know that getting an abortion is not a good thing. It's not a good thing. So when you have people who live in blue states, like deep blue states like New York, you're going to have people say, well, it's not right for someone in Montana or someone in Idaho to not be able to have an abortion. But you have to understand New Yorkers, the people in Idaho or all them other red states, they don't move like that. They have a different mind state of it, which means they're not having as many abortions or trying to get as many abortions because either one, if they get pregnant, they're going to have the child or two or two. They're not they're not going to get pregnant. Not to say that they don't get abortions. I'm just telling you that the likelihood of these conservative Christian states, they will not do that. So let's keep let's get that in the play and let y'all understand that what I don't understand about this is when we get into a certain community like the trans community and we're going to talk today we're going to talk today because I want y'all to understand us as black people we have to be honest with each other we don't agree with that and I don't understand how I don't understand how we pretend like we do. We don't. And I'll even be honest with you. Us as black people, we don't really uh, really favor abortions either. Most black people are Christians. Most black people go to church. Most black people, whether they like it or not, are conservatives. They don't want to use the term, but they are. Because every one of their, everything that conservatives line up, black people line up with it. That's the thing. So my thing is, when you have people out here like Obama telling you as a black man that you need to support this woman and all of these other people telling we, us we need to support this black queen when she has a white husband that should be supporting her. You can't tell me as a black man that I should support this black queen when she's married to a white man. I'm just keeping it a hundred. You're not going to tell me that. You're not going to tell me that at me or make me feel bad 
when she ain't even trying to procreate with her own kind if she is black. How can you tell me that? But a lot of y'all, I'll be honest, a lot of y'all didn't even know she was married to a white man. And I know some of y'all saying, well, what does that matter? It matters a lot when you're trying to use racial identity against me, telling me that I should vote for her because she black. Well, she should have married a black man then. How about that? You want to play that game with me? You can't tell me I should vote for her because she black when she can't even lay with her own kind or even procreate with her own kind. I don't think she even have kids. I think those are his kids and they're adopted. So let's keep it a hundred. That's why y'all lost. Y'all lost because y'all outdated. Y'all out, out of touch. Y'all views are way too out of there. Nobody wants their daughter to go in the bathroom and there's a grown man in the bathroom. You think black people like that? You think white people like that? We don't want to see nothing like that. We don't want to see our daughters um, um, playing in sports with, with, uh, with uh, biological men. You think that that's what we want to do? I don't understand it. I don't understand. Let's be, let's, 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 let's have a real conversation. Let's have a real conversation. What are we doing here? And, and y'all need to stop this whole dictatorship thing. Is y'all watch too much MSNBC. Y'all watch too much of these programs. These programs be having y'all messed up. They be having y'all messed up. Because think about it. If there's three branches of us, it's more than three branches of government, but let's just use the three. You got the federal, the local, I think, I think it's the federal, the, uh, the uh, state, and local, right? In order for you, it's like a chain. So in order for you to become a dictator, you have to go through all these chains. Just because you're the federal government, Every state is kind of like its own country. They have their own laws. This is why a state can bring a charge against a former president. And guess what? If he gets convicted, he can't get out of prison. He can't pardon himself because it's a state charge, not a federal charge. It's a big difference. So a lot of y'all get it confused thinking that this person can be a dictator when they can't. That's one. Two, y'all got to stop acting like they're going to put people back on a plantation field and pick cotton. I heard somebody say that to me in an argument. They're going to put you back on a field and make you pick cotton. So let me get this right. Black people who are the most rebellious people on the planet, right, when it comes to not abiding by bullshit, right? Not to say we bad people. I'm just saying we don't we don't take shit. You know what I'm saying? You telling me that we're going to stand in line and we're going to be okay with picking cotton? That's what y'all saying? Y'all literally saying that. My thing is, this is the reason why Trump won. This is the reason why you have a lot of black people who voted for Trump. Because a lot of black people, they are not crazy. They realize that the Democratic Party has went all the way to the left. Extremely to the left. And black people are not extremely to the left. Some of us might be. But even the ones that's extremely to the left, when you talk to them, they'll realize that. They'll be like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Because most of y'all. Y'all not okay with getting abortion later in the term. Y'all, all, all of y'all all say the same thing. I'll get an abortion when it's just a clump of cells or two, three weeks, but you ain't getting no abortion at six months. But guess what? Some of these liberal states, they okay with it all the way up to nine months. And listen. I know this is going to hurt a lot of people's feelings, this episode right here, but hey, it has to be said. It has to be said. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being honest. This is the reason why Trump won. It's because 
y'all underestimated him, number one. Number two, y'all don't listen to the messaging. Y'all just don't like the man because y'all think he racist. But we could go down a list of things that you would say he's racist for, but then you ask yourself, well, how is that? There's certain things I disagreed with that he said. I didn't like what he said about the Central Park Five. I thought that was disgusting. I didn't like, I didn't like a, a couple of things he said before. But does that make him racist because he has an opinion about something? No, it doesn't. If you know who's racist, if you have a problem voting for me or Trump, then you ain't black. How can y'all vote for a, a white man who's telling y'all that y'all not black if you don't vote for him and y'all still wouldn't vote it for him? That's the definition of racism right there. A white man telling you that you is not black is not. You are not black if you don't vote for a white man. But see, they got, I'm so happy that, and I'm not happy, I'm not saying I'm so happy about Trump winning. That's a different story. I'm happy that us as black people are starting to have a different mind when it comes to this because we don't always have to vote Democrat. That's the thing. My mother never voted for a Republican in her life, not one time, never. And she voted for Trump for the first time in her life. She voted for a Republican. She never did that before. So she, even she waking up, my mother's 78 years old. And even she waking up. So why can't y'all? You don't have to, you don't have to vote for Democrats. It don't always have to be because you feel like somebody is racist towards you that you have to vote for the other side. Oh, I don't vote for Republicans because they're all racist. But then you see all these black people at 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 all these black people at the rallies. Then you try to make that an excuse, say, well. The reason why they're there is because they're all Uncle Toms. They're all Uncle Toms. That's why they're there. And you be like, so you telling me that niggas in Philly, I see niggas in Philly wearing MAGA hats. They're Uncle Toms? No, they're not caught up in the propaganda no more. That's the thing. I'm not saying that Trump is going to sit here and, and cause a revolution. I ain't saying that. But I am saying that this is the beginning of something for black people. Because if we sit around and say to ourselves, okay, let us, let us have the choice of who we want to choose in certain things. Don't persuade me to vote for somebody because you dangling something in my face. How disrespectful it is for Kamala Harris to tell black men that she's going to give them $25,000 and she's going to legalize weed. And if you read it, it says black men and others. First of all, she can't even do that. You can't say I'm a legalized weed for black people. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just something that you just can't do. But again, we fall for all this stuff because they think we slow. They think we stupid. The reason why I respect, I ain't a Republican, but the reason why I respect Republicans so much more than Democrats is because they let you make your own decision. You will never see, and not one time have I ever seen this. And I know maybe y'all could jump in the comments. Some of y'all might have seen it. I know, or try to pull something from somewhere with a corny argument. I never seen Donald Trump disrespect anybody from America when it comes to who he's, who's voting for him. I've never seen it. He always said, we need to make, we, 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 we. We need to make America great again. Make America great again. We make America great again. For all these people that keep saying that Donald Trump is a, a, a fascist or he's a dictator or he's a wannabe this. And it's like, he's a Nazi. He's Hitler. Niggas literally said, and I ain't going to say niggas. I'm going to say 
people said that Donald Trump is Hitler. Let me say that again because a lot of y'all probably don't even understand. If you don't know the history of Hitler, Adolf Hitler, if you don't know the history of Hitler, then don't ever say that Donald Trump is Hitler or he's using Hitler rhetoric or he's saying the term bloodbath when they all said the term bloodbath. Even when it came to when it came to the C-19 and the lockdowns, I seen people um, argue people was arguing with me about that. Talking about some. Well, Trump wanted to lock people down. No, he didn't. Trump literally was saying he wanted the country to open. I watched every news broadcast every day. Can't tell me he didn't. We need to get our country back open. He was saying that repeatedly. And that right there should tell you that he couldn't be a dictator. Because if he's telling the states that he need to be, need, they need to open up the, the, uh, the country, a dictator would just open up the country. Correct? So he couldn't be a dictator if the states wouldn't allow him to open up the country. That's how you know he couldn't be a dictator. I don't understand the, 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 the logic behind some of y'all. This is why y'all lost. Let's be honest. <laughs> Gotta be honest. This is why y'all lost. Because most black people are not going to call anything out. Because we're comfortable with going along with everything. Because we say, well, we ain't got no rights anyway. We can't do this anyway. No, we have the power. You see what happens when we have the power. You know what they gave us? Black people? You know what the Democrat gave us? Celebrities. You know what Donald Trump gave the America? Elon Musk. Tulsi Gabbard. RFK Jr. Vivek Ramaswamy. You know they he gave us them. Intellectual people who want something. They gave you Beyonce. They gave you Taylor Swift. They gave you uh, Megan Thee Stallion twerking. Why do they think that that resonates with us so much? Because we like to dance. We don't like to pay attention. Nah, you know what? And I'm going to tell you what black people did this time. That's why I'm so proud of us. We say, yeah, give us all that. And we still voting for Trump. We're going to do what y'all do. Because this is what y'all used to do. This is what the Democrats did to us. They'll tell us, they'll tell us, yeah, we're going to help you. And y'all never did. Oh, we got y'all back. We got y'all back. Oh, yeah, give us Beyonce. Yeah, yeah, Beyonce, Beyonce. Go in that booth and vote for Trump. Exactly what we did. Look at your cities, man. You telling me that these people are, have your best interests? Look at your cities. Go down your cities and go to Chicago. Y'all vote overwhelmingly Democrat. Is it changed? Isn't it still crime there? Isn't it still things going on there? Look at your cities. Jersey City, Newark, Patterson. Y'all still voting for these people? Your cities are still bad. How come y'all still voting for them? Your cities still look like, look at Camden. Camden looked like, Camden looked like it looked in 1960. Doesn't change and it don't look no different. How is it that we're in 2024 and all of these cities still look the same? The inner cities where we live at. How come they, how come we still living in roach infested and, and uh, uh, garbage infested, over, overflow of garbage um, of uh, buildings and all types of stuff in the buildings? Pissing in the elevators. How come we still living like that? Where's our, where's, where, where, when, when is it going to change for us? Why we got to always live like that and we still voting for these same people? Down the ballot, blue. Blue, no matter who. We say that all the time. Blue, no matter who. It's like, wait a minute. These people ain't even helping you. They're giving you crumbs. And they're making it, making it seem like they're, they're, they're giving you handouts and making it seem like it's something good for you. It's not fair. It's never been fair. Not to say that um, they never helped us. But once they, once they introduced the welfare state to most of you niggas, y'all never got off of it. Now y'all look at it, the, the federal government to take care of you. And guess what? They want to remove the father from the home. So this way, you a single mother. And you know who did that to you? Feminism. You know what feminism does? It makes you not even want a man. 
Now you can do it all yourself. And you know what that does? Not to say it's women's fault, but you know what that does? That breeds young men without a mother and without a father that, that will guide him. Because I don't care what nobody says. You could, you could, you could, you have the ability to raise a, a man by yourself. You have the ability to do it, but you need a father too. Just like a, a, a father, a, a, a daughter needs the mother and the son needs the mother. You need both parents in the house. Both. The likelihood of, of, of these kids acting crazy and, and doing stupid stuff would be low. If you have both parents in the house, both good parents, not just a parent in the house. That's all I'm saying. So this is why y'all lost. And this is why black people won. I declare this a victory for black people. Because we, we the ones, I don't care what nobody says, we're the ones that put Trump back in the White House. Because we feel as though that we're tired of, even some of the Democrats voted for Trump. Because we're tired of the situation that we've been in. Go look up these videos with these people's talking. When these people talking on uh, about, about Trump, look at the videos in Chicago. Look at all these videos. They're saying, no, we want to put Trump back in the White House. These are black people we're talking about. So go look it up. But that's all I had to say, man. You know what I'm saying? I had to put that out there. And I know I might lose some subscribers for it. Hey, man, listen, I don't care. You know what I'm saying? Because I think that us as black people, that's an important message that I have to say. I'm sorry. And I love y'all. And I'll see y'all on the next episode and all that good stuff. Y'all have yourself a good afternoon.